the producers of Wendy Williams' Lifetime documentary claim to have been worried about her care while under guardianship while filming. Whereas Wendy Williams, producers claim that the Lifetime documentary series illuminates Wendy Williams' dire living circumstances while living under conservatorship. During an awards consideration panel in Hollywood on May 1, executive producers Mark Ford and Erica Hansen expressed concern about Williams' living conditions during production, noting that she was shown to be living alone and without food in her refrigerator. They also mentioned that they were trying to get in contact with Williams' family. As we dug further, we found that until we reunited Wendy with her family, we couldn't let go of her, Ford remarked because we felt that at a certain point that's who's going to be there for her to care for her. Ford noted that at the time they were not made aware of her frontotemporal dementia diagnosis and still had several questions post-production about why, as it appeared to them, Williams was not receiving adequate care and why her legal and financial guardian Sabrina Morrissey was not responding to any kind of calls for help. Requests for comment about the documentarian's accusations have not received a response from Morrissey. However, she filed a lawsuit on February 20 in an effort to prevent the 4.5-hour film from airing. Morrissey criticized the network's documentary in the complaint, which was made public and acquired by People. She said that it shamelessly exploits and portrays her in an extremely demeaning and undignified manner. Morrissey claimed that Lifetime incorrectly states that she is broke and cruelly implies that her disoriented demeanor is due to substance abuse and intoxication. Williams was allegedly not capable of consenting to the conditions of her contract with Lifetime's parent company, any television networks, according to the documents. Morrissey claimed that before a documentary featuring the talk show host shot in private could be distributed to the public, all contracts required court and guardian clearance, and that no such approval was sought or provided. Morrissey added that she gave the document her blessing on the condition that the proposal receive review and final approval of the guardian and the court, who are responsible for well-being. But she insisted that no permits were requested and that, despite being informed that the documentary would present Williams in a favorable light, she was horrified when she saw what was in the trailer.